Hi, my name is Susanna. Um, I was uh, born in Portugal, raised in Toronto, and um, I was injured on August 9th, uh, 1999. I had a fall. I was actually living in Portugal at the time, and um, I was just basically visiting a family member and uh, leaning over uh, to take a view, and the, the railing on the veranda was um, old and rusty, and I didn't know, and I just leaned, and it gave, and um, I ended up with a spinal cord injury. Um, my injury is uh, T1, C7, T1, and, um, and so yeah, it's 12 years ago that, uh, that this happened, and uh, here we are. At the beginning, I didn't have, um, it affected a lot my hand uh, function, uh, being, so it's considered quadriplegia, but, but I function more uh, as a para because what happened was in the beginning, I didn't actually paralyze my hands, they just became very weak. I lost um, all the st most of the strength in my hands. So during rehab, what I was able to do was uh, actually strengthen them so that I could be able to do um, you know, my regular routine and be able to do things um, uh, as, as normal as possible, uh, including you know, my, my chair and, and managing my, my self, my personal care and that sort of thing. Um, sensory wise, I, um, right from the beginning I didn't have much uh, sensation. Uh, I did get a lot back throughout the years. Um, more so on my right side than on, the, on my left side of my body. Um, but that's great. Uh, there's, uh, I'm an incomplete, I guess you consider me incomplete uh, uh, sensory and complete movement. So I don't have any movement, but uh, in sensory I do have quite a bit. Uh, even in the areas like more on the uh, on the right side, but even on the left side, there are areas you know there's that I can feel, which is which is good. Um, just allows me to be more careful with myself, and also um, when trying on things like shoes and things like that, you, there, I can feel sort of like burning and, and, and sensation that wise. So um, so basically, incomplete um, sensory, incomplete uh, movement at the T1, C7, T1 level.